What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this time it's a haul video. Yeah, it's the first time in like two years, I think, since my last anime. It, this is an anime slash manga haul video, but um, I will say that I have a lot more manga than anime. I think I only have one anime, Blu-ray, whereas I have like maybe 30 volumes of manga. Um, one thing to note is that this isn't going to be like a monthly thing. Um, I just happen to have a lot of manga come in this month because... One, I had some extra money, not from the stimulus. Uh, that went into savings because I'm trying to be a responsible adult. But um, I just had money that I had saved up, and I was like, man, I really want to buy some manga. And a lot of pre-orders ended up coming in too, but those were already kind of paid for. Uh, I did like the Sezzle payments on right stuff, so it makes it kind of easier. Uh, it's nice. You just like pay every two weeks. It's pretty dope. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's just get right into it. So first thing is I bought an entire series, or I bought two entire series, uh, not very long, very short, not very short, I guess, but like under 10 volumes. Uh, first up is Ninja Girls, which is uh, nine volumes. I really like the um, covers on these. I don't know, especially volume two. I don't know. I like volume two's covers. Very nice. The, the wavy hair just looks dope. Um, yeah, so I've always had my eyes on this, but I just never really like purchased the series at all. Um, I know it's an etchy harem, and I don't really actually own that many etchy harem series, but... Yeah, I, I really don't know why, like, I necessarily bought this. I think it's just maybe because the covers were nice. But um, I'm currently reading it. Uh, and it is interesting. The main character, this character, this guy right here, I can't remember his name. I think it's, like, Raisin or something. He is this, like, exiled kid who lives by himself because his mom passed away. And he has a horn on his head, so he's, like, exiled from the village. And they consider him, like, a demon. And they treat him like, you know, they treat him like how Naruto was treated in the first chapter of Naruto. Um, so yeah, but he runs into this girl right here and saves her from like drowning. And then his, his life changes <laughs> because it turns out that he's like part of this Royal bloodline and they all have like a horn on their head. Um, I can't, I think they're like the Katana, the Katana bloodline. They're like this, these feudal rulers that went instinct extinct. And he's the last one because he's an illegitimate son of like, the original ruler um and now he's got this harem of ninja girls that want his bloodline in them <laughs> uh it's i mean it's like what you'd expect from an etchy harem series it's pretty interesting so i will read that and complete it at some point it's not too not too um difficult to read either it flows pretty quickly and finish like the first volume in like 40 minutes if that uh next up is another uh series that i bought in its entirety and that's Arakawa Under the Bridge by Hikaru Hikaru Nakamura, same creator as Saint Young Men. I looked that up and it was uh, interesting to find out. Found out a lot of interesting things about her. Uh, one, it's not the chess player, he, <laughs> so not a uh, Hikaru Nakamura, the chess player. But yeah, she's a female mangaka, and uh, she happens to be married to um, this voice actor. I can't remember his name. He's he's a big time voice actor. I literally, I, but I just can't remember names like that. Uh, let me just show off these volumes real quick. All the covers, by the way are so unique. They look so different from one, one, one another. Like, this one reminds me of, like... I mean, it could kind of be, like, a Promised Neverland cover if it was an owl, but it's not. But it just kind of has that feeling. Um, we have Volume 7, which just looks so out there. And then finally, Volume 8. So, yeah, the voice actor she's married to voiced this character in the anime adaptation. And uh, he voices Yato in Noragami and then Levi in Attack on Titan, which is, a, like holy shit, what? It's Levi? She's married to Levi. It's crazy. And I thought it was actually really cool that, you know, her husband is a voice character, is like the main character in the anime adaptation. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, let me just put these volumes to the side. But yeah, just kind of like remind me of like Bakuman, where uh, I can't remember the character's names, but the main character um, wants his crush to voice act the female lead in uh, the manga that he's creating. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. just thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, next up, let's get into the other stuff. So these are, like, single volume stuff. Uh, we got volume five of Rent-A-Girlfriend. Volume five of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Also, by, by the way, uh, Rent-A-Girlfriend. I'm not planning on buying more volumes. Uh, I think it's over 20 volumes right now, like, that it's going to release. I'm going to wait for the series to end and then decide if I'm going to buy more because I don't really care for Rent a Girlfriend that much. I just happen to have this on pre-order and I didn't really cancel it. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, Volume 5 of Nagatoro. 
Volume 5 of Wave Listen to Me, which I really like. Volume 5 of High Score Girl. And then we have uh, Volume 1 of Zom 100, which was really good. Uh, very good first volume, actually. And then Volume 2 of Blue Period, which is getting an anime, by the way. Very uh, interested in that. I still haven't read the first volume. Uh, let me put these to the side. Let's get into... Jeez, I got a lot of manga. Uh, volume 1 of Gantz. So, yeah, I'm finally getting into Gantz. Um, yeah, so, like... The only reason I never really got into Gantz originally was because it was like 37 volumes and now like those single volumes are out of print, but now they're releasing these omnibus volumes, which I'm not a fan of just because like they're very thick spines and they tend to bend very easily. Uh, I'm sure I can make it work, but I just, I don't know. I, I wish it would have been more like the Blade of the Immortal omnibus where it's like kind of glossy paper, uh, a stronger spine for sure, or even like these Visbigs, which they're not the best omnibuses, but they're decent. Um, I wouldn't mind like a Vinland Saga style. I think that would work pretty well. But, you know, it is what it is. Then we have uh, Volume 7 of Witch Hat Atelier, I think is how you say it. Um, very excited to continue reading that. We have Volume 3 of Soul Eater, the Perfect Editions with uh, Black Star on there. Very nice. Uh, volume 3 of My Dress Up Darling, which uh, I just actually opened up Volume 1 because these are all shrink wrapped. And I'm um, currently reading it. Uh, I, well, I've already read, like, I think up to volume two. So volume three would be new content, which I'm excited for. Volume one of Keep Your Hands Off, Isaacin. Very excited uh, to, well, I, I've already watched the anime, um, but I will read the manga now. Um, yeah, let me, jeez. Let me get into this stuff over here. I got uh, six volume, or no, five volumes of Magi, uh, which is 22 through 26. I love Magi covers, by the way. They're so pretty. Very nice. The spines are nice. They look great on the shelf. Um, now I think I need to... I think there's 37 volumes, so I'm only missing 11. So I'll slowly but surely buy all of that. Let me get these out of the way. And, uh, geez, we are not done yet. We got uh, a single volume release, which is Saison and the Comic Girl, I believe is how you say it. This was nice. I actually finished reading this the other day. All in color by the way and it's very nice man very nice it looks like it just reminds me of like 80s anime i went through like a phase where i was watching a bunch of 80s anime by the way look at that spine very nice and um one of the anime that i watched was uh, dirty pair and it just rem it gives me like this feel because it's like the sci-fi with just wacky characters um crazy battles the art isn't amazing but the color really like gives it genuine life so it's kind of cool to see i don't mind like manga the way it is but every now and then a series that just has like color everywhere it's just nice to you know it's just nice to see it looks so good too because these are like i think this is like watercolor i could be wrong but it just i don't know it looks so nice um so yeah let me just stop gushing about that and then uh have two volumes one and two of i don't know how you pronounce it i think it's d vergelder because it's german but uh, this is by Hiroki Samura, which is the creator of Blade of the Immortal and Wave Listen to Me. Um, and that was never able to get into Blade of the Immortal, Blade of the Immortal, uh, because I'm not a fan of how it's reversed. So it's read uh, left to right instead of right to left. It just throws me off. And I feel like when I, I own like the first volume of the Omnibus, I just feel like when I was reading it, it felt like some of the panels were like just not flowing very well, and I just didn't really want to buy more. And the scans are all red left to right as well so i'm not sure if the series was made to be like that or not but yeah i don't know just want to get into it i really like his art style it just has like a very rough kind of like sketchy art style i don't know how to explain it but it's very nice i like it so i'm excited to finally get into that at some point and then uh now we have this out of print series which is uh Cromarty high school volumes one two with mikazawa on there whoops and then <laughs> The third volume, which is like super beat up. It looks like somebody took a bite out of that. So yeah, this is released by ADV. What is it? ADV Manga, which um, was an anime company. I, I mean, I know them as an anime company. I didn't know they actually released manga. That was pretty interesting to find out. But Kamari High School is really good. I own the anime adaptation of it. And it's one of the funniest anime you can watch. It's so, so hilarious about these delinquents and just all the shenanigans they get into. It's It's just a ridiculous series and I would recommend it. But it's not for everybody because the animation is very static. It's not, you know, full, like, 
motion. It's a lot of mouth flaps for the most part. Uh, next up, oh yeah, that's all the manga. So now this is the anime, which is Angaku Our Sound. Uh, haven't watched it, but I know it's about these characters that just on a whim make a band. And they're all in high school. And they look like delinquents. So I like delinquents in Jap Japanese like manga and anime. I think they're really cool and like just end up being very funny and big hearted as well in the end. Just like uh, what um, I can't remember his his name. Hachimura is it Hachimura from uh, uh, Slam Dunk and then Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho, obviously. But yeah, very excited to watch that at some point. And um, that, I believe, concludes this anime manga haul. I'm not sure if it was 30 volumes. I'm pretty sure it was 30 volumes. I'm not going to put it into the title just because I'm not sure and I don't really feel like counting. But yeah, if you watched all the way through, thank you. Appreciate it. If uh, you did not, that's okay. It's, I mean, this is like 10 minutes, 10, over 10 minutes, which is uh, long. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.